DPEC system has to be held accountable for this. This is not a piece of paperwork gone missing. These are children. Now that is former Georgia State Representative Erica Thomas, who grew up in the foster care system, and she's the founder of Speak Out Loud, which is a nonprofit advocating for foster children. And right now, U.S. Senator John Ossoff is here in Atlanta holding a hearing with Georgia's juvenile judge judges as part of his ongoing and continuing bipartisan investigation into the abuse and neglect of children in our state's foster care. His inquiry was launched back in February amid an 11 Alive investigation revealing Georgia was using hotels to house dozens of teenagers, often for months at a time. Senator Ossoff's inquiry shows between 2018 and 2022, nearly 1,800 children in Georgia's care went missing. We have to find these children, and that's it. We have to find these children. Where are the children? Now, we asked about the status of the children, and we were not given a clear answer other than it is early in the stages of the investigation for them. It's also not clear if DFACS reported each missing child to law enforcement and to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, which, by the way, is required by law. Senator Alsoff says so far investigators have interviewed more than 100 people and are still reviewing thousands of pages of records. Our 11 Alive investigators have done several stories related to the issues with the state's foster care system. And you can see more from our Keeping series right now on 11alive.com.